We're rolling. So if you could look at Tuya and just introduce who you are and what your title is and your affiliation with the government. Anytime you're Go ready. ahead, Tuya, start. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you could please tell us your name and your occupation. Mm -hmm. My name is Konchik Dorch. And I was uh, vice president of uh, Mongolian Republic and chairman of first permanent parliament is called Ulsenbach Hural and also chairman of state Great Hural. This is a uh, next generation of our permanent parliament. And now I am chairman of Mongolian Social Democratic Party. When were you? Uh, I was uh, from 1990 until 1992. This is the first two years of Mongolian Democratic Revolution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah what <coughs> time, uh, from 1990 to 1992, I was vice president of Mongolia and uh, simultaneously chairman of first permanent parliament of Mongolia. These two years was the first two years of Mongolian democratic revolution. What did you do when the demonstrations and hunger strikes began in, in the 1989-1990? Yeah, hunger strike was only form of uh, uh, leading to the uh, negotiation with uh, communist uh, rulers uh, with Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and all, all, all these answers in Mongolian language were f and, uh, f repeated so many times and so <laughs> when I began to translate into English uh -huh. and then I have to make some breaks ask, and so on. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. If you okay. want to ask Tuya about whether the English is uh -huh. good, good or how to say mm -hmm. it, feel free. Mm -hmm. But maybe he feels more comfortable speaking Mongolian. Uh -huh. Let's yeah. just try this question mm -hmm. in English, and then mm -hmm. we'll, we'll see. Mm -hmm. yeah. but if, you, if you could please tell us uh, what you did during the demonstrations and hunger strikes of 1990. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and hunger strike was only peaceful way to do this democratic revolution, to lead uh, negotiation with uh, communist uh, regime. And this hunger strike was very new thing for Mongolian peoples. And also Mongolian custom also not so much like such kind of things. And to be hunger, this is very negative uh, f for Mongolians and Mongolian native. But and we have to explain to the people why we doing hunger strike, what this means. And we don't like to take in hand guns. We would like to do this is peaceful. And but this uh, communist leaders don't like to give powers or to share powers with others. So we to lead them to do this is peacefully with us. This is main uh, purpose of hunger strike. And hunger strike continued several days. During these days, we do two uh, explanations to the people. What's the hunger strike and for what we are doing. And early this works and in happy end in uh, 7th March was uh, very special 
day for the Mongolian Revolution. This is first day in first term to sit, uh, sit down uh, with uh, communist uh, rulers uh, and began to the uh, began the negotiation round table discussion round table uh, negotiation. That was very good. Yeah. Uh -huh. if, if you could now just say, what did you do, and how did you become involved? Mm -hmm. S sort of concisely. Mm -hmm. I did this <coughs> during mm -hmm. this time. Mm -hmm. in, in this time, there was two very strong uh, signs. One is communists, another one is to build up uh, People's Extraordinary Commission, and but uh, I, as a social democrats, new social democrats, as members and uh, initiators of social democratic movement, we don't like to have such strong uh, position. So in. Actually, we was initiator for negotiation and inviting for roundtable discussion, and so that's why. In in one side, hunger strikers, and another says members of Politburo's. So we have we trying to connect them through this uh, roundtable discussion. So also we proposed concrete way for uh, realizing democratic evolution, which kind of institution we have to, to build up, and how we make, uh, introduce pluralism in uh, politics in Mongolia. And how this uh, transition from communist regime to democratic regime should be done and accomplished. So our program was such kind, uh, some kind of program for uh, democratic uh, revolution and uh, uh, process of democratization in Mongolia. This was uh, um, key points for negotiation. That's why there was ready from two sides to sit down on the table and discuss this is also make this is more open through the broadcasting on the TV and the radio. That's why and all people involved with on this process on this negotiation. So that's why Hunger Strike makes own uh, propose to bring all together, and then our program makes uh, this negotiation concrete and successful and lead into the future. So during the demonstrations, um, were you what were you personally doing? Were you heading uh, the negotiation process between the Communist Party and the Hunger Strikers? Or what were you exactly doing? What was your sort of job title, I guess? Oh, yeah, and uh, I was, uh, uh, so this time was I was a leader of uh, social democratic movement, and that's why in all technical problems for dem uh, demonstration and doing demonstration and making it is more peaceful, and also meetings, doing meetings, and meeting programs uh, have been uh, negotiated with other leaders of democratic uh, movements. And so now I remember this demonstration in Ulaanbaatar was so powerful and never Mongolians uh, saw such kind of events. And also in countryside, in Hub School and Halt, there was also such kind of 
demonstration and hunger strike and uh, it makes more active people and giving to the people some kind of were Mongolian people unified during the demonstrations were they unified about you know, pro -dem in, on, in pro democracy movement um, how did you feel at that time and how did your friends or relatives feel at that time uh, yeah and so during the communist time and people used to be afraid to be a little bit different uh, to have uh, different idea uh, even not about ideology <laughs> so that's why in my people from my uh, country calling me and writing me and what are you doing if your father was alive what he should tell you about that you should think about that so because they are afraid maybe I will be arrested or even more bad things should be happened with me Why? so what was your father what did your father do yeah this time my father was died in three years ago I mean in 1987 so my father was a very expected person uh, in my uh, country so that's why in they doing this way you involved in this uh, activities and so you should think if your father was alive what he could say what he will probably say to you it's good or bad or how to do how you should do this in which way and you should think this was very 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 uh, impressive and it was very helpful really I think and my father what will say to me in this time and this also gives many uh, useful ideas and tactics and also f my own uh, involvement to this moment. Um, can you tell us uh, about the general atmosphere uh, during the demonstrations and hunger strikes in Mongolia? What were the Mongolian people feeling at that time? Uh, yeah. What was the political atmosphere? Mm -hmm. Actually, in of beginning of democratic revolution was some months ago, and during this time, Mongolian people already prepared uh, to support such kind of. Uh, activities for democracy, demonstration in strong demanding meetings and also I, as I told but they not uh, been uh, prepared for hunger strike support so anyway and so in all people I mean uh, And majority of Mongolian people uh, have been supporting this democratic uh, process, democratic uh, demonstration and meetings and all the rest. Because in during this first uh, four three months, and really people began to think what was last and what we have this time and what is happening in other former communist countries because in this time we give much more information not only about in Mongolian situation also what is happening in the world 
in what kind of very special chance is coming for Mongolians. So some of our leaders tell, so now we have chance after 300 years to be really independent, really uh, uh, Yes, really independent and sovereign Mongolia to build it. Mm -hmm. We have time to say that again. Yeah, yeah, because really, if, if you can say um, so Mongolians supported, the Mongolians people supported you, mm -hmm. and finally, after 300 years, we can be free and we can be independent. It's just mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. short. Mm -hmm. We can finally be free and independent. Mm -hmm. It's not a mm -hmm. it's just two sentences. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so Mongolians uh, understand that this time is an only chance to become really independent sovereign Mongolia after 300 years later. So because in Russia was uh, going process of perestroika. And also in uh, China, there was some kind of economic changes. And so in former communist countries, it's going for democratic regime. So this is that chance Mongolians define own country, ourselves. So anyway, I will uh, I will uh, speak more freely, and then you can take uh, fragments yeah, you can and catch it. down. So okay. Yeah, you can edit. It. And I know it's difficult. The English, but your English is very good. And the way that you're speaking to us now, if you if we can speak it to you a little quickly, more quickly, uh -huh. more naturally. I know that if the English is hard, but your English is very good. So New grammars. Huh? New grammar there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we, because we understand clearly what you're saying. So uh -huh. if you want to, and I know you need to get more comfortable, mm -hmm. if you speak more naturally like this, mm -hmm. a little quicker. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just going to ask this question again. What did you ha hope to accomplish by joining the demonstrations and hunger strikes? What were your hopes mm -hmm. for the Mongolian people? Yeah, we and I was uh, very hopeful all this process will be finished and Mongolia will have a democratic government. So we hoped on that. And because we had concrete programs to do this, and also we filled this. Uh, demand of time. So, so the, it was demand of the Mongolian people to have democratic government? Yeah. And mm. Yes, it was. Yes. yes, it was demand of the Mongolian mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was demand of uh, Mongolia. <laughs> it was, yes, the team of Google Street, with the Google Street, it was a demand of the Mongolian people. Mm -hmm. With the uh -huh. Google Street. Okay. It was demand of Mongolian people. So that's why I was very helpful. Uh, it was demand of the Mongolian people to have. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a couple of times. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Even English speakers, we have to do this. Mm-hmm. But then, then, get things. Well, yeah. You just said, you know, that talking ice, talking such a thing. Mm-hmm. Well, then, as long as you know, no one can do it. Well, then, you know, 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 then
хэр их зүйл хөөсдрийн хөшнүүд нь бэлэн болцсон байсан. Тийм учраас энэ бол бэлэг хэв. Яг л ийм гурван юм. Дэлхийн нийтийн цагийн эсэн гэх юм. Монголын олон төмний нуугдмал байсан хүсэл ирмэл зэл. Та төвний бүтээл хөөсдрийн хөшнүүд бий болцсон. Ийм гурван юм байсан учраас энэ бол бэлэн гэх хэрэг хэлсэн гэсэн. Okay. Um, that's good. I'm just going to translate that into, into English. Is that okay for Helen? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, I think so. All right, because uh, it was really perfect. Mongolian. Well, we got it Mongolian too, so. Okay. 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 харин одоо ерөнхийн дэд засгийн хэд парламентын гэрэмхүүлэгчийн гэдэг тэр агуулгаар нь сууж ийн зал. Uh, political demand we uh, said Mongolians should have a multi-party parliament and this means Mongolians should have parliamentary dem- uh, democracy and when we discuss this Mongolian new constitution there was two alternatives to have presidential one or parliamentary one. So, and then we choose in parliamentary democratization and parliamentary form of government. Because in in communist regime, in totalitarian regime, there was uh, in fact one powerful person with only one powerful political party. So if we choose presidential one, then there was very strong risk to go back to uh, because of only one powerful person. Also in last years, I'll show us when we face with some difficulties, when people face some difficulties in their own life, they we willing to have one strong hand. So if we choose presidential uh, form of government, then when people demanding one strong hand, then it is very easy to go back to the totalitarian regime of democracy uh, of government. So that's why we now see our choice of the parliamentary form of government was right, at least for first two, three decades of democratic transition in them. That was good. <laughs> I think, uh, it, let me just guess here. The main things that you wanted were a multi-party system, Three elections, mm-hmm. and was there something else? Yeah. Did just say and uh, yeah. <sighs> What's the Mongolian word for? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, multi-party system. First demands to have multi-party system, and then uh, f- build up f- some kind of uh, f- convention with equal participation of old and new political forces, they will be draft uh, new small constitution, means in changing of government structure first, and then passing election law to elect uh, this new 
uh, government institutions. Mm -hmm. And then uh, this uh, uh, f first uh, parliament must be not a uh, model for future. They will be, main purpose is to draft and to prove new constitution. And then when did uh, this, they will be uh, 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 resign themselves and uh, according to the new constitution we will have a uh, uh, new uh, form of government and new parliament and new uh, election and uh, make everything new according to the new full constitution. So this was program. And then in, in March already we succeed we, uh, to our demands the former communist uh, Uh, parliament, this is not permanent parliament, abolish one um, uh, items from the old constitution which declared only uh, ruling uh, position of uh, former communist party and introducing they should have another political parties. This was first uh, uh, main events, and then uh, making uh, election law to build a small oral, back oral, and making amendment uh, to the old constitution, changing uh, old communist uh, government institutions. Yeah, we can come back to it. I, I, I'm talking, uh, this is just explaining to you, ah, not okay. for... Right. Yeah, but actually, <coughs> the, the beginning of that was very good. Mm -hmm. So, we can come back to this, or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Our proposal was to introduce multi-party government and free election and to have new constitution. This was three main proposals of democratic revolution. As one of the authors of the 1992 constitution, the new Mongolian constitution, what did you hope to accomplish? What were your primary goals? Mm -hmm. So we primary uh, proposal is really to have democratic constitution. We had three communist con constitutions until 1990. And so, and then principles of government is in separation of powers. And as uh, classics say, should have parliament, which is by the people, for the people, of the people. So this is a main purpose, so sharing of powers and really to have parliamentary democracy, which is formed by people and servant to the people and being of the people. Um, what did you hope to accomplish for the Mongolian people? What kind of uh, freedoms did, did they did they get from the constitution, mm -hmm. the new constitution? Yeah, in one of very important uh, issues in the new constitution is in guarantee of human rights and freedom. And in the constitution, Mongolian constitution, uh, this human right and uh, freedom is guaranteed 
as well as in uh, yes in as in declaration of him yes okay. that mm -hmm. One of very important, I think most important issue in the uh, Mongolian constitution was declaration and uh, guarantee of human rights and freedom. In our constitution, the standard of human rights and freedom is same as in uh, human rights declaration passed from the UNIT uh, Missions Organization. So why is democracy so important to you now? I think democracy is important all times. All. Not now, not only now, not for future, not past. So why is democracy important at all times? Yes, democracy is important all times because democracy gives equal chance and uh, free choice and full guarantee being human beings free and with freedom. So how do you think democracy is influencing the lives of the Mongolian people? <sighs> yeah, and uh, there is two influences, I would say. This is just how improving this life Mongolian people and also how it's uh, dealing with mentality of Mongolians and improvement in life is not so difficult this is this could change it for 10 or uh, 15 years in in one person's life time change of mentality is very uh, <laughs> in in the otang it is here. Yeah, and change of mentality of person is in uh, demand a uh, long time, even changing of generation. So that's why in democracy gives very strong influence to change of mentality. We had mentality of p uh, people had mentality in communist regime as mentality of ruled person. Uh, now they changing uh, our mentality as uh, mentality of person who's. Uh, ruling themselves. Okay. So, so I can't get any further. Okay. Oh, so, how does democracy influence the lives of the Mongolian people? Which way does that I heard about that. Okay. 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 Communist <laughs> You know, back at the new we saw you just put in Emerian Snarrow. Or that's where the Emder Lynch and Emder Sense of Botman to the Dagan Hotsand. Totra him chained to Hurchel. Him so he did. I'm giving you shelter in Trains and Urchild. Trains and Urchild. But Dambera didn't talk world. Hutch and Communist are over there with the regret. Hochnigan Sanot, some marshmallow, Hochin, Billinch, Tilly, just 
өдөр чинь уу зүгээр хийх материал бэлэнчлэх гэж санаа уу өдөрлөхийг бэлэнчлэх өрөөлөөр юм аа хийлгүүлэх гэсэн хүн байгуулах бэлэнчлэх сэтгэл гэдэг гэдэг чинь эргээд юм хийж лээ сонголт төлгөөл зүйл төрлөөр гэт тодорхой нэг амьдралын чанарын төвшин тодорхой очих чинь одоо бол тодорхой төвшин хүртэл би өөрөө мэдээж явж болох юм тийм юм аа лидэг одоо ингээд ингээд одоо юусэн л гэтэл тодорхой чанарын дараагийн шитэнд орох гэхэд бол тэр хүн яхаа тэр зэрэг бидний бие бидний шиг тунд үйлдвэртэй болгоод байгаа ч гэдэг юм байна. Бар бидэнд одоо мөнгө өгөөд байгаа ч тийм тэр зээл зах зээл энэ тэр одоо төсөл төсөл хэрэгжүүл тэр тухай ойлголтууд байхгүй. Тэрхүү тодорхой чанарын шин төвшин л орох тул тэр нацгаад хэрэгтэй зэрэг бэлэн өр орох гэх юм ингээд хэрэгтэй зэрэг. Түүний сад нь чинь хуучин нэмплэтэй тул ерөөсөл бүгд адилхан байх нэмплэтэй байсан юм байна. Энэ төрөнгөө хөвдчих, амьдралын стандартын хөвдчих ерөөсөл нэг хэсэг нь ялгаатай болоод нэг хэсэг нь хасраад ирэх тэр зэрэг би энэ лөө хүрэх хэстэ гэдэг сэтгэл гэр ш итиагаад биднээс очих бид нэр юу гэлүү тамшиж шүү тийм юу гэлүү болчих уу гэдэг харагдах сэтгэл яг ийм хоёр юм дээр сайн сонгод байгаа юм даа шүү мэдээж сууччаад бид нэр бийчээд нэг хэсэг нь бийчээд та нар хасрлаа гэдэг нэг хэсэг ерөөсөө хэсгийн газар хэмээн лаа бид нэр юу ч хийж өгөхгүй гар тийм ихэнх л одоо ихэнх хатлангийн хада төх юм хатлантаа тэдүүд гар малаа тэдүүд өвлжүүлэнг алингийн Тийм ч ас энэ оюун санааны энэ энэ өөрчлөлт бол өөрөө удаан удаан байдаг дээр нь түүний хосрогдол дээр нь эргэж сангалзал дээр нь төшиглэе гэд тийм ээ шин юмыг хүлийн авахгүй байгаа сэтгэлгээнд нь тоглоо гэсэн санаа бол бас энэ тактик ш. Энэ бол яг чам стасыг ойлгох юм гэдэг хэрэг зүйл байна тийм. to change the mentality. Yeah. So in when we look this 10 years of uh, democracy so this changing of mentality is uh, gives two uh, directions. One and we as leaders of nation people lead them to change the mentality in mentality of free person person with freedom person with full human rights and others to use this rest of old mentality and this is people would like to uh, have some directions from the above how to do even own family life and also in mentality is to be all equal in in very poor sense and in communist regime they have equal salaries even who is works good or bad they has equal condi- uh, conditions for houses and so on mm. and then when people began to have freedom choices some of going very quickly in terms of quality of life have good house good cars and so on some is not so then they look in them how we uh, they couldn't uh, think as old mentality how i can be same as he but they thinking we was equal we had some two two room flights now he has big houses and so he thinks about him not so from good side mm-hmm. so this uh, rest of old mentality gives some tactics for especially for for more communist party to do propaganda so we will do everything for the people means giving everything uh, uh study free charge and uh, f- uh, f- and when a person is ill yeah mm-hmm. and they will be do uh, free of charge as was all the time and we will give make all equal and also in 
this uh, government means our government in four years, and not doing to the uh, for the people directly, because and we don't like to rule every day's life. People, we give them freedom, we give them chance, we give them room, and we maintain more, more macro uh, situations, and also in. In last four years, there was big uh, uh, development for in, in private sector. Private is through privatization, also more free uh, enterprise activities, and giving some rich people and so on. Then also former communists saying they works only to become rich themselves. In fact, we not became the riches, but people became the riches, part of people. So these two things is very uh, comfortable for those people who is still having old mentality. So and that's where this tactics works, and as a result, this last election. So that's why it's change of mentality. Mentality of free pe person, an uh, independent person, is very difficult. Very, very difficult. Now we're challenging for them. So now I am trying to work to give some influences to develop this kind of mentality of people. Mentality of people. It's tough. It's hard thing to do. Yeah. Very yeah. hard. Very, very Changing hard. Changing the whole country's yeah. way of thinking. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. nearly mm -hmm. impossible. Mm -hmm. Which was in for hundreds and two hundreds, hundreds of years uh, spent for this and old Europa and America. Yeah. Yeah. I just need to put this on your microphone. It'll make you. Uh, there are two things that influence uh, the democracy influence. There are two. Uh, <laughs> 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 democracy brought about two changes to the lives of the Mongolian people. One is uh, changing their living standards, and the other one is uh, changing the, the mentality of the Mongolian people. Mm -hmm. Which are, uh, of course, quality of living standards can change in five or ten years, and it's a relatively easy process, a mm -hmm. quick process. Mm -hmm. But the mentality, uh, but it takes time to change the mentality, especially after 70 years of communism when the people were led mm -hmm. uh, from top. And uh, these are two big things. Mm -hmm. But now people are learning to lead themselves and to be truly independent beings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I will. Uh -huh. Actually, in there was in so also in uh, in the in last uh, period of time in mentality was so one if very locally then this is mentality of 
uh, ruled person. Mentality of citizen, which is dependable from big countries, from the brothers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, so also in the, the, uh, or, uh, in third one is uh, is mentality is so. As well, in as w in proposes to make and uh, new uh, to introduce the new generation of Genghis Khan. That's why in this second uh, thing is I think is important. So, in last uh, in past uh, uh, period of time, the mentality was mentality of citizen, depending from. Big brothers. Now, just this democracy gives to people. So I am citizen of sovereign Mongolia. I am a generation of great Chinggis Khan and of <laughs> great Mongolian uh, nation. It this is very positive. In in good sense of nationali nationalism yeah? this is this is this is good or not yeah. well actually what you talked to me before about uh -huh. was very good but mm -hmm. i think good. also if you should add the chinggis khan yeah that was great yeah i thought i thought it was good yeah do you think you should repeat it or i think it's fine? yeah i think um let me I'm not sure I get the idea. Yeah, okay. So mm -hmm. what I'm looking for, mm -hmm. what we need is for mm -hmm. you to say it very, very simply. Mm -hmm. As if you're talking to a very stupid person. <laughs> because that's just how TV is. Mm -hmm. If you can say, um, people used to be like this, mm -hmm. and therefore it's difficult to make mm -hmm. this change. Mm -hmm. And say the thing is come from too. <laughs> no, this is uh, not so necessary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. so, what kind of changes did the demo did democracy bring to the Mongolian people? Mm -hmm. What were the changes? Mm -hmm. I would say at least two. This is change of standard of uh, life. This is more easy. This is visible for five or ten years. And second one is a change of mentality of people. So this is very difficult. This needs long time. Also, this gives some cases of uh, good for process of democratization, and in some cases, this takes spike the process of democratization. It depends which political forces would like to use to positive change of mentality or negative uh, uh, conservatism of uh, mentality. So what kind of changes uh, are being... Uh, what, so what kind of changes are in the mentality of the Mongolian people now? Yeah, in, in communist regime, and every citizen's mentality was mentality of ruled person. Everything had been ruled in from the above, even in family life. Now in their citizen of free country and with freedom and with full human rights. So that's why they have to change they have to have mentality of free person and with freedom, with choice, and with... Uh, so. okay, um, uh -huh. that, uh, what, uh, what, what is... Uh -huh, yeah, uh -huh. what, what exactly, what are the changes? Is the mentality of the Mongolian people going back to the old ways, or to, to the old you know, communist ways where they're doing right, or is it not? 
uh, or is it changing more towards being a purely free or independent citizen of Mongolia? Mm -hmm. Like it, uh, it's going to this direction or it's going mm -hmm. to it, you know, mm -hmm. back, mm -hmm. you know, backwards or mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's mixed. So some people are still stuck in the old ways and some people are going towards the future where they really can be rulers of this, you know, Mongolian land, mm -hmm. you know, truly independent rulers uh, of the Mongolian mm -hmm. land. So mm -hmm. I, would, I, I, I would like to see in very positive side. Forgetting about this negative things, okay. Mm -hmm. So, okay. and in the last uh, ten years, this mentality of people is changing to the very positive side. So it will be, uh, take times, and I hope this Mongolian mentality of Mongolian people will be uh, ch okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> I mean, in the last ten years, the mentality of people, of the Mongolian people, has changed in uh, very positive ways. Mm -hmm. It, uh, the democracy is making the Mongolian people more free, uh, more independent, and they're becoming the true rulers of Mongolia. Mm -hmm. No, okay, and I will try it. Uh, okay, okay. So. So, uh, thanks to the democracy, especially in. Thanks to the uh, thanks to the democracy and mentality of people in Mongolia is changing very positively. They now have mentality of free person and mentality of independent person and mentality of person who has own integrity and own identity. How would you compare Mongolian democracy with the Western model? Are there any differences or similarities? Mm. Yeah. Uh, in still, in the world, we have discussion about Western democracy and also models of Eastern democracy. So Mongolians choose the classic way of democracy. This is a twin transition, means in we making demo uh, democracy in uh, politics and democracy in economy. So that's why Mongolian democracy is 
in democracy of Western style. But myself, I don't believe there is Western, there is uh, Eastern. Because in democracy is democracy, this is one universal things with universal values and uh, universal way of development. That's why I think and Mongolian's democracy is classic democracy. Well, if you could describe how people in Mongolia are feeling about democracy now, <laughs> about dem democratic change in Mongolia. Now Mongolian peoples don't pay attention on we going to a democra uh, democracy or not because in democracy it becomes just uh, every day's life and people don't pay any attention when uh, things is uh, going as every day's standard every day's usual uh, I am telling, uh, I am saying in this sense, uh, this is, so people now use the own democracy and people now believe democracy and democracy becomes every day's style uh, of living of people. So do you think... Yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't know yeah, so okay. much. 